Richards. I formerly attended Dungy Park Technical High School. As a child growing up, it was really great for me because my family wasn't financially stable. Being that my father, he started drinking, smoking, he was a teacher, and he left his job and made my mother the only one able to take care of four of us. During that time, my mother, she didn't, she didn't really finish high school or college, she only did primary school and she had four of us, and right now she's a domestic worker. Back in primary school, I wasn't really smart. When I reached high school, I told myself, Say, I can't keep doing this, I can't keep letting my mother down because she's the only one supporting me and I need to step up and make her proud. So in seventh grade, I made sure that I stepped up, studied, did everything right. And when the school recognized that what I was doing, they helped me, so I want to thank them for that. During school, it wasn't really good for me because I was living with my grandmother during that time, her other sons, they didn't really like us that much, so they had kicked us out of our, out of our own grandmother's house, so we had to live back in my father's house, which is in Spanish town. And in Spanish town, I would have to wake up 4 o'clock early in the morning, leave out at 5 o'clock so I can reach Dono Park Technical, which is in downtown, at 6 o'clock. And that was stressful for me because during those times, you have to wake up early in the morning, and then when you come back home, you have to study, get on those books. So I didn't really get any much sleep. Financially wise, I would get like $300 a day to come to school. So sometimes I would just take $100 to school with me, eat my breakfast, and then go home and eat my dinner. So I would just take $100 for my bus fare. And I had to live through that, but it was a sacrifice that I was willing to make because I wanted to help my mother. And I made sure to hit those books, get everything done. I made sure that I was on the top of my class, the first person to pass each of my grades, seven to 11, and I made sure to make my mother proud. And I wanted to thank everyone who has been helping me. It has been a blessing. And I, was, I want to thank Christ too, because he's my strength. And I want to thank everyone for doing the best that they can to help me. And I thank you guys for this um, award and appreciation that you have helped me.